Good morning, YouTube. My name is Yolni Dragon, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Now, today I plan to um, kind of reintroduce some of the Finding Zer thing that I started in D1. Um, so he is either Mars is a flashpoint, so he's either on the flashpoint or on the tower. My guess is he's in the tower. Yep, there we go. So. Um, Zer, the changes to him from D1 is he sells three of coins still, which he can buy for legendary shards. You use it once, it increases the chance to receive exotic engrams from pretty much any source in the world that you can get them from. So, that would be strikes, public events, heroic public events, um, I think you can get them from raids, crucible. I think a few other things, maybe. You know, you got Trials, you got Iron Banner, you got, which is both Crucible, um, Nightfall. I think that's about it for exotic map source. But you use it, lasts for four hours. Um, I don't necessarily know if you can stack them. I mean, you can use them over and over again, so technically, yes, you can stack them, but. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, future me, uh, cut from, like, 30 seconds before this, or 20 seconds or whatever, 5 seconds, I don't know, to when you get to the tower. And welcome back, guys. We just loaded the tower. Zer is over here. Um, yeah, let's go see what he has. Anyway, other changes that he has. So we covered three of coins. Um, he does sell an exotic engram that drops at the minimum power, which is like 340, I think. And then I think it goes up depending on stuff. But yeah, so if he's in the tower, he's always over here, which I need to go up these stairs. So, yeah. Hi, Zer. I'm gonna celebrate with you. Yay, and wave. Okay, what do you got for us this week? Ooh. Skull of Dire Amkara. Provides additional damage resistance during Nova Bomb, and Nova Bomb kills Grand Super Energy. So, same as what it was in D1. If you're a Warlock player, I would actually highly recommend it. It's very useful. Um, the Colony. If you don't have it, I would, again, highly recommend it. Um, it's an exotic grenade launcher that shoots little tiny nano droids that, within a proximity, it will track and run and explode on enemy. Graviton Forfeit, um, so this has changed from what it was in D1, it used to just grant Shade Step, now it's increasing duration of any invisibility effects, and really recharges faster while you are invisible. Awesome. This one is Fire Insectoid Robot Grenades that chase targets and explode in close proximity. So yeah. I actually just read the thing, the second uh, perk for Colony, that it, the insectoid robots actually reload it and while well, it's holstered. Then Armamentarium, if you don't have it, you're a Titan. This is one of the best ones you can get, in my opinion. So, and then he, as I said, he sells three of coins for legendary shards. I'll just buy two. And he does sell this one, which just, um, lets you put modifiers on the prestigious nightfall so yeah and he does sell the faded engram which just gives you an exotic that you presumably don't have or something so let's buy it and let's see what i get boom and i get prospector and it dropped at 345, like I said. 
anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed that Zer is in the tower he's selling colony honestly if you don't have skull of diorama Kara or colony or armamentarium i would recommend you pick it up if you have enough i'd say buy a few three of coins maybe two or three of them i don't use them all that much they don't really affect the drop chance honestly anyway guys i will see you on the next one so Peace.